Hello and a very warm welcome to our green screen studio. The purpose of this video is to show you what it takes to bring green screen to life and to show you some examples of the effects that we can achieve. Let me show you around. Okay, we start, as you'd imagine, with a green screen. This is an industry standard tone of green. You've probably seen it in behind the scenes footage from films. Why green? Well, quite simply, people aren't green. You have to use a background color that's not gonna be used in any other shot and people aren't green. The screen itself is lit independently to keep a consistency of light across all of it. So we use these strip lights, one to the right, one above and one to the left to light it. To illuminate the subject, which in this case is me, we use three lights. The key light is the main source of illumination. The fill light takes out any awkward shadows. And then we have the hair light that gives us good separation from the background. For green screen, the camera is always fixed to a tripod. And like the handheld camera that Alex is using to film this type of shot. A monitor off to the side allows me to see exactly what the camera sees. To record the sound, in my pocket I have a transmitter which is connected to a cable and a hidden lapel mic. We attach a teleprompter to the camera to make sure you stick to the script. To make sure we stay within the boundaries of the green screen on the floor, we use tape to make sure we don't go out of shot. Let's look at adding some effects. At its most basic, you stand in front of the screen and make a recording. The footage is then uploaded to the editing software where the backdrop is added to anything colored green, which is why you can't wear anything green. The backdrop could be a company logo, a photograph, or a screenshot. It can also be a scene, indoors or outdoors, or a video. And I'm Debbie Atkinson. We're both ergonomic. Virtual office backgrounds are great to use when you're making a corporate video. They can also have see-through areas. That you can then add a background image to. You can also be moving. We want to create a presentation. You can use virtual monitors that you can position anywhere on the screen. In the center, on the left hand side, or the right hand side. Using this shape of screen, you can present a phone app. They also fold away and drop down. You then add your images to the screen and make your presentation. What makes it more impressive is when you start interacting with the screen, bearing in mind there's nothing actually there. Using our interactive system, you can push buttons. Oh, so it actually looks like you're using an interactive screen. You can swipe and use slider bars. What really is a game changer is when you start using specialist lighting. To increase the realism and to add extra depth and atmosphere, we use this specialist lighting equipment. You can see the difference it makes to the subject and we can control the lights remotely so they can change Mid shot. Have a look at these videos where we've added special lighting and sound effects to add to the realism. So, what think it is? What? 
hope you found that a really useful showcase of what we can do here at can I help you? What? I'm doing the wrap-up to my green screen video. Well, I'm on it too. Fine. However. Useful showcase of what we can do here at Wyvern. What are you doing? Fine. If you're interested in making a video using green screen or any type of video, contact us by the details on the screen. One of our digital media team would be more than happy to discuss your needs. All right, have a quick one.